Okay guys, more Logic Pro X tutorials, this time fixed note length. Before we did fixed note velocity using the MIDI transform menu, right? So here's a MIDI region with notes in. Select all the notes, functions, and we're going to use the MIDI transform box again, right? Fixed note length, boom. And the MIDI transform box appears. Once this box is open, you can select any of the MIDI transform functions from its own internal menu. These are the same as the menu here in Functions MIDI Transform, right? So we're doing fixed note length. And we've got to work with this rather cryptic display here. This is the length that we're going to fix the notes to. And it's got four columns. Now the first column here is ticks and ticks are the little tiny increments that make up one complete division and the default division for logic is sixteenths if you zoom in the grid by default is set to sixteenths there are sixteen divisions to one bar so this first column is ticks the little increments that make up one division the next column is divisions which by default is sixteenths the next column is beats and the next column is bars so if this division column is set to 1, and your division is set to the default 16th, then when we fix the note length, we're going to set them to 1 16th, 1 division in length. So the notes are already pre-highlighted. I'm setting them to 1 division in length, 1 16th in length, operate only. Boom. They're all set to a 16th in length. If I push this column here up, the division column up to 2, now I'm setting the notes to two divisions in length, two sixteenths, an eighth. Boom, they're an eighth in length. Command Z to undo. If I set the division column here, push it up to three, three, now we're going to have three sixteenths for the note length. Operate, boom, they're all three sixteenths in length. Now up from that, the next one is four sixteenths, but four sixteenths makes a quarter beat. So if you push it up, one more, the division column, it should go to zero and the next column increments up to one. This is beats. So next up from three divisions or three sixteenths is one quarter beat. Four sixteenths operate and all the notes become a quarter beat in length. Okay? Command Z to undo that. So I'm going to set the beat column back to zero, the division column to two, that's two sixteenths, and now I'm going to fix all the notes to two sixteenths in length, an eighth. Boom. And uh, that's how you do that. Fix note length with the MIDI transform function box. Okay.